Excuse me, Songbird? What is it, Grim? So you're supposed to go to this Aspiration Gala? I prefer the term destined. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. The Aspiration Gala? This is my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are gonna be there. My social status will skyrocket. Sounds like fun. This isn't some kid's birthday party. It's about tracking myself out of the gutter and moving one step closer to the lower level. Can I get tickets to the Aspiration Gala? I need them. No, darling. You stole the wrong ID. Classic oh, Foster. Graham wouldn't make the guest list? Not by a mile. He wouldn't even get the cleaning gig the morning after. Opposites attract, I suppose. Please. It was thanks to me that he wasn't shifted up top. And thanks to him that I'm stuck here. I uh, really so need to get to the Aspiration Gala. <sighs> what do you care? A little above your station, don't you think? Nope. Whereas people like me belong there. You're a bitch. You get me tickets? Darling, even if I could, you're not exactly gala material. Compliment received. Why Damn, don't you run off and find Reginald, or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They might be a little more... Ooh, Tarquin. Charitable. Good suggestion. Thanks. Yeah. Bitch. Tarquin. Got a minute? Excuse me. Is something the matter? Hello again. Good evening, Master Grundy. Off to work, I see. What? Oh, yes, the cleaning won't supervise itself. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. Ooh, what do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh, boy. That's the best kind of poetry. So this poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah, one has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnippel Esquire performs regularly at the gala. And this year, he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. Droid poetry? How's that working out? Very good, I just sir. Got Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or laugh with. Oh, is there a difference? That's what I thought. As an honored guest, do you have any spare tickets for tonight's Aspiration Gala? Yes. One has been granted several refer-a-friend passes to the Aspiration Gala. Can I have one? Would Sir consider us to be... friends? Yes, of yes, course. Yes, of course. Hey! Moments ago, Sir did not remember one's it's name. It's Tarquin. Yes, but... In spite of the 322 exchanges we have had since we became neighbors. Yeah, I can see how that might hurt a bit. Well, can I get one, though? Could I hear some of your droid poetry? Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. Shut After up, Joey. After 148,606 iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... clever. Indeed. That is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, 
That would be only fair. Hell yeah. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration for aspiration. That's rather clever. And it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. In that case, let me go see what I can find. See you soon, Tarquin. I do hope that I'll also be seeing you. Hmm. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. Aspiration day, sir. Now, step two. Time to choose your favorite hologram. Do they do anything different? Oh, no, sir. It's purely cosmetic. Once you've made your choice, you'll be all set. Please choose your desired hologram. Um... It'll have to be the Joey hologram for me. I just love him so much. Wonderful choice. You'll stand tall above your fellow <laughs> citizens. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch Hell yeah. here. I didn't realize I was that big. I was looking for an eccentric poet, and Reginald certainly fit the bill. The poet was working hard at what I assumed was his latest poem. Excuse me. What? Uh, yes, all right, if you insist, I do have time for a selfie. What? I completely understand. It's not every day you run into... Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnippel Esquire? Is it now? No, it's me. Graham Grundy. Ah, yes, Grundy. Hero of the hour. I heard a rumor that you'll be speaking at the Aspiration Gala tonight. Ah, how could it be a rumor when it is the Joey spoken truth? Hmm? Indeed, I have had the honor of headlining the gala since its inception. This year, I have a particular treat for the audience to enjoy. <laughs> oh, you mean Tarquin and the droid poetry? Bless that loquacious mechanical jewel. I was quite clear that it was to be our secret. Will you be at the gala? I'd like to, but my kudos isn't high enough. Shame. I'm brewing up a proper chuckle this year. But fear not. You can catch it tomorrow when they stream the whole thing. Hmm. Joy unbounded. I'm looking for some inspiration on writing poetry. My dear boy, please do not mistake these luscious locks for those of a creative muse. I just figured you could help me out. Listen, I'll stick to poetry and you stick to whatever it is you do. I always wondered, where do you get your ideas from? Oh, there's a quaint little ideas shop down in the Purple Quarter. Really? No, dear boy. I am demonstrating what some of us are blessed to call wit. Could you share some of your inspiration? Oh, afraid not, old chap. To be revealed only in the course of my brilliant oration at the It's the wrongest tablet. I wonder if I can hack oh, it. Let me inter Too late! Shut up, dude. Probably e reader.
<laughs> I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. The poet was working hard at what I assumed was his latest poem. Hey, Reggie. It's Reginald to you, yes? How about the... Ah, this is my favorite spot to come and write. Sophisticated sounds, wouldn't you agree? Each to his own, I guess. I was just speaking to your droid, Tarquin. Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't send you here to... What? Between you and me, I cannot wait to see what sort of inspiration a droid comes up with. Later, Reggie. See you tonight, or perhaps not. Mm. Can I read? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Figure of speech, dear boy. No, you can't read my poetry, but you shall hear it later. What are you drinking? Ah, Hemingway, Wilde, Yeats, Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> a burden we all bear. What flavor? Strawberry. Wouldn't you prefer... My friend, the sea... What about potatoes? What on earth is a potato? The thing they make french fries out of. Oh, goodness. Next you'll be telling me the ketchup grows on a vine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me... <laughs> I'm serious. So, uh... Listen, I understand your disappointment. But you can watch it on your terminal tomorrow. Reginald wasn't nearly as cooperative as his butler. Do you have any tip? Ah! I don't see how that... Exactly. Later. See you tonight. Or... Huzzah. present at the scene of an active alarm. Did I do something wrong? That remains to be seen. Do you have any information on the cause of the alarm? I didn't see a thing. Very well. Do not panic. 
Minus will soon relate to me the identity of the culprit. Incident log. You may go about your business. Swift breaths of mint and bile. Here he is. Calling all social the departments. Customize your aspiration approach with here. breath of mint and bile. It consumes our darkest substance, leaving nothing but a smile. I wonder if I wanted the other poem though. Happy Aspiration Day, sir. Please choose your desired hologram. The Citadel. I'll take that. Wonderful. Ch You'll stand tall. There. Your. Thanks. Calling all social climbers. Customize. I now had Reginald's poetry on my aspiration brooch. Just what Tarquin was after. Citizen Graham, where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Got a minute? Excuse me. Is something the matter? Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. I found you some inspiration. Bravo, sir. And where was it? It's always in the last place you look. Would sir care to share? Absolutely. Here you go. Oh, sir. What an assembly of words. This will have the humans sitting with their backs against the backs of their chairs and their arms upon the armrests. <laughs> this is sure to conjure heightened emotions from Master Reginald when one reads it. Oh, you bet. <laughs> I don't want to find out which emotions. Same. Thank you, sir. Now, may one bestow upon sir a token of gratitude. That's why I did it. By that, you mean hand me a ticket to the gala? Then yes. One does indeed. Thank you, Tarkin. Hell yeah. And best of luck at the performance. No, sir. Thank you. This will be a night to remember. That's for oh, sure. There is one small issue, sir. Of course there is. What's that? I do believe your attire is somewhat inadequate for the soiree this eve. Perhaps I can find something for you. That'd be most appreciated. Hey, another achievement. Party clothes. Tarquin had found me a tuxedo. It looked like it would fit. Um. Interesting color Looking scheme. Sharp, Rob. I'm still. I like how I'm still wearing the satchel. I'm gonna see if Sombrin's here. Doesn't look like it. Can I go through her shit now? 
I didn't think Song would uh. appreciate me rummaging through her things. I like how I left a secret message on. I want to see if I have any new messages real quick. Come on. Come on. Doesn't look like it. Alright. I always do that on that soon. Let's go. Do I go to the gala now? You changed clothes. What's the I'm occasion? Going to the gala. Going the to the party. The aspiration gala. You really think they'd let you in? I have a ticket. I'm on the guest list. Tarquin sorted it for me. Oh, Tarquin sorted it for me. Well, you'd better be on your best behavior. The world still thinks you're Graham, and I don't want any trouble. Oh, I never cause trouble. What does a Gaplander want with a party anyway? The missing kids. I think the people responsible will be at the Aspiration Gala. Okay, new rule. No crackpot theories until after the party. And hurry up, or we'll be late. Party time? Hell yeah. The Aspiration Gala. Isn't it wonderful? It really is. I've worked so hard for this moment. Me too. Do I have to do a lot of hacking. We'll be on our best behavior. As I stared at the opulence of this Aspiration Gala extravaganza, my eye was caught by a movement on a walkway. These had to be the people that I was looking for, the yes. people who would lead me to Milo. I had to find a way to get up to that walkway and find out where they were going. Curb that human instinct, Foster. This is no time for snacks. Yes, it is. It looked pretty tasty, but I was at the party to find answers, not snacks. Jesus, Robert, you can walk and eat at the same time. I'm actually kind of pissed. I want that food. Okay, wife. Hey, it's Rachel or Raquel. Was it Rachel or Raquel? It was definitely one of those two. Good evening. I've a ticket for the Aspiration Gala. Lovely to welcome you. But you know this is the VIP section? Of course. You see, I'm, um, I'm a friend of the laureate, Reginald Arthur Schnipple. Reggie and I go way Not the back, of you, you know. Foster. Yes, I'm sure you do. And um, your name would be Madame. Grundy. Oh, um, don't appear to have a Madame Grundy. Hey, it's that douche. I'm very sorry, Mentor Alonso. I don't know what happened. It won't do, Astrid. Won't do at all. This is the Aspiration Gala, after all. Yes, sir, of course. And you said you believe the firework projector was tampered with? I'm not entirely sure, but it was working perfectly during the rehearsals. Regardless, I trust that the issue really is now resolved, and that you'll be keeping a closer eye on things from now on. Oh, yes, sir. And you won't have to keep leaving your station Unsupervised? Absolutely not. You can count on me. Now, back to work. Hmm? Mr. Grundy, what a pleasant surprise. Of course, Aspiration Day always does deliver surprises. 
It's all about who you know, isn't it? Indeed. I'd be very interested to find out more about who exactly you know. I was wondering if you'd seen any odd behavior at the party. Odd? Suspicious how? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> no bother, Mr. Grundy. But I must warn you, if you've observed any... Understood, Mentor Alonzo. What he said. So... I'm here to supervise everyone's well-being. <laughs> like Officer Arana? Officer Arana was in charge of the preparations. I'm here to make sure the event itself runs smoothly. Sounds like a tough gig. It won't be. Things never go wrong in Union City. Is Officer Arana coming tonight? Why do you ask? Are you in need of well-being support? He loves her. No, no, I just assumed... I was she about to make a similar joke, well, but Joey beat me to as it. As a matter of fact, she was here a moment ago. You must have just missed her. Where'd well, you go? shit. I have no idea. A busy what kind of a look was that? One. Enjoying the party? Never. The Aspiration Gala never fails to put a smile on my face. And I look forward to Reginald's poetic display with undiluted pleasure. His past efforts have always been so amusing. How's it all going, Alonzo? Smooth sailing, as expected. Let's keep it that way, yes? I'll see you around. Do keep us. The mysterious figure had gotten upstairs somehow. I was sure that if I could get past the technician and snoop around, I could give chase. I could turn on the sprinklers. <laughs> Foster, word of advice. Never trust a guy with big eyebrows. Maybe that wasn't the way I was supposed to do it. Nope, he turned them off already. Get that chick in trouble. Okay. Finally figuring it out. What happened?
I'll have to put into the low. I guess that does make more sense. Huzzah. Hopefully this works. It took long enough. There we go. Come on, Joey, we're going up in the world. I can't wait. You think if I was running a city, I'd install some decent elevator music, huh? This had to be where the shadowy figure had come from. Yeah, had to? Who knew a party needed so many servers? The lunch. On my way, Joey. If there was some way to access the side of the building, maybe I could follow that strange figure. Do I They really were fancy sandwiches. The crusts had been cut off. Hell yeah. The vent appeared to lead to the side of the building. Going through the vent. Can he fit? If you say so. <laughs> oh man. Forgot how old the show was. Okay, move. Well played. Can't say I'm not a droid of my word. Well, thank you, Joey. Alright, and on that note, we are going to end right here. Uh, we'll see you back soon.